Welcome back to Arc Tutorials and this is Axios tutorial series and we'll be covering this complete tutorial series in three parts. I covered the first part and today is the second episode. In the first part we learned about the installation how we can use it as a standalone uh, individual pages or I also sh showed you how to use it in Express and Node.js. The way to write code is same even in React. Okay, The only difference that will be is how you import it. Okay, so basically when you are learning this series, you can use it in either ways, either in React, in Angular applications, uh, in React or in Node.js or in Standalone. We also touch based about the basic get method, but today we will be writing all the methods in detail. We will see how, what are the different variations and much, much more. This is live coding. So let's get started. All right. So first we'll learn how to write a async code, right? If you open the code that we wrote last time, we wrote a method and we have declared the name of the function and we wrote some code calling axios.get right so today we'll be learning first things first if you want to use async method you just have to make the method as async whichever contains the axios code so you can write a async method or you can write a normal regular method same thing with your if you see the express.js code uh, what you will do is in front of here you will write the async function okay that's how you can make any function as async which contains your axios code okay that's the simplest thing i can tell you all right so now let's talk about today's um, important things which is the get post and put and delete okay so i'm going to give you a syntax to make it easy and uh, that remember that and you will uh, be able to master axios in no time okay but before that, uh, let's talk about the HTTP methods that are there, right? So you got get, post, put, delete, right? You have other things like options, which tells you what are the different HTTP methods supported. And you also have head, okay, which is basically the header information. But we use these four for HTTP operations, okay? Get means get the data, okay? Uh, from server API API you can say post means create a new resource right create a new resource using API put okay now there is put what does put do put will update a resource update a existing resource okay or if not found it will create one okay so if a resource particular ID is found to update, it will update it. If not, it will go ahead and create one. Delete as the name says will be used to delete the resource. Okay. There is one more thing called patch. So what does patch do? Unlike put, right? Put will replace. If it found something, it will entirely replace it. Whereas patch will only optionally update the fields. Optionally update the existing resource okay so let's say you don't want to uh, update the entire uh, resource right so you can only update one or two fields using patch okay patch will update uh, optional fields using existing resources all right so those are all about http methods and these are all supported by axios okay now let's talk about the general syntax right and how you will write any axios code so for any Axios code, the syntax is here you will give the method name. Okay, here Axios dot. So for example, if you want to write a post, you will write Axios dot post. If you want to write a get, you'll write dot get. Okay, that is Axios dot method name. Now remember, if it is a, it is a get URL, right? Now let's talk in general. So here I'm going to write, if it is a get call, then URL is mandatory. Okay, that means you're telling which URL to get the data from. And if it's a post, you need to pass URL as well as data. Okay, same thing for put. You'll have to pass URL and data and axios dot delete. Here you'll pass a URL. Okay, now this is a general syntax that you can use axios methods, HTTP uh, methods. Now you might want to add some params, right? So you can pass that in optional fields. Okay. You can pass optional fields here. 
these are optional where you can send headers you can send params query params etc okay so remember this syntax okay because this is what we'll, we will be using in today's episode and we will just write the same thing okay i hope uh, you are now clear with the http methods as well as the axios syntax okay now that being said let's go ahead and start writing our code i'm using the express server code but like i said the code is exactly same no matter which um, uh, whether you use it in react whether you use it in express whether you use it as a standalone okay remember that because you don't you might think that oh it will be different the only difference will be in this how you import it in react probably be you will be writing import axios from axios okay that's the only difference in react and um, express all right so that being said you can see here axios dot get and we have a url and then and catch right so we are using this url to call now i'm going to rewrite this into a different method and show you with params okay so now we made it async also if you see here i added the keyword async in front of it now let's go ahead and i will rewrite this get with a different with params now this is one way this is another way copy the url again okay so now notice that here i am passing the id as 5 here i'm not passing okay here instead what i'll do i'll pass it using params so here i can write params and then it will be an object i'm going to say my param name is id and i'm passing 5 okay and then we'll do dot function response and then same we'll write dot catch for any error function e Okay, done. Okay, so let's console log this response, and let's console log the error if any. Okay. All right, that's it. And now um, we can start our Express server. So this is how I'm starting Express server, but um, you would have something similar in React where we run npm. So I'm loading local host three thousand. which is getting data and printing the value see here it made a request because we are not sending anything to the back to url or i can say response dot send and send the response dot data okay now let's see all right now if i refresh i'm getting the user id 1 id is 5 that is important because we passed it as a param now see that's the difference okay this is one way like you can send directly call the url to get the data the other way is you can send it through params okay now i'm going to modify this little bit more right now if you see the value is static right but in your applications this will always be dynamic so we are going to read that value from the ui so i'm going to say um, id val equal to request dot query dot id so what i'm going to do in the query params i'm going to send id read that value and i'm going to pass this value as the latest value now let's see it's even more dynamic now now here i have to pass query param as id and i'm going to pass 10 so see now it is id is equal to 10 some value i can pass any number of value it's not there in that system but right 6 it's giving dynamic value now so see the same get call is now dynamic okay and the difference we learned now is using params okay that's what we learned as part of axios.get i hope axios.get is clear all you have to do is axios.get followed by the url dot then and dot catch it will catch any errors if there are any okay and we can also pass params this is another way Now let's go ahead and learn how to write axios dot post. Axios dot post, and I told you it will be the same. So see, it will have a method and it will have param. Okay, and let's go ahead and check the JSON placeholder. JSON placeholder. Open this. Okay, and 
this is the URL like let's check the documentation for for post okay so here it is all HTTP methods are supported and we are going to use a post so slash post when we call it will create a new resource Xios. okay okay let's quickly open up the documentation syntax so post request just post and followed by the data okay same way just what we did now okay so I'm going to use this slash post URL and axios dot post followed by the URL followed by the data options okay so that's the thing that we decided here um, okay so this data okay now I'm going to go here copy this URL till the to do's or I'm going to instead of to do's let's call it posts that we are going to post it here and in the data what are we sending uh, I don't know what it's expecting but let's see the fields that it has so title and body okay so we need a title and we need a body so I'm referring to the ape documentation for the reason being that it's a public API so we need to follow certain process uh, in order to uh, match the fields okay but if you have your own API you will know which fields you're working with this is test body okay so what I've done axios dot post the URL and then followed by the data remember that the data format should be in an object okay otherwise it will give you an error all right so and then again we'll do the same so dot then response and dot catch let's copy it here that's it we need and that's all we need right now so let's go ahead and fill this and run again so I'm going to load it in this and let's see it says error let's uh, headers already sent okay so whenever you do any such things you should not be sending any response so I'll comment off this line and instead log it before you print any data you should not send the uh, headers request otherwise it would not work All right. okay so now you see it did a get first and it did not come inside the post and it did send the response dot data so see here it created a new resource by the ID 101 okay and this is the test body and this is our title okay so basically we posted the data and we got the result okay one other way to check if you want to really work with this you can also check with postman tool and see how it works okay that's for your knowledge but this is how it works um, I let me show you network call just in case if you don't believe the code <laughs> all right so I'm going to refresh it here so but you won't be able to see that uh, the, the reason being that um, this is only our response that we are getting see here 101 this is test body and our title okay so that is post now same way we can do axios dot put <coughs> and what you will do same exactly same no change but now the URL will be different let's check what's the for put it is post slash the ID okay so copy this posts okay now you can do you can send all the details in one go you can say ID is one and then you can say title and body this is our updated title updated body okay so I am going to send the response here with dot then and function response so if you see this dot then and dot catch remains same right yeah that's the beauty of it in fact the entire code mostly will look similar to you in axios and that's the most easiest way to build this console dot log error okay all right we closed it here perfect okay so this is good I'm going to comment this off else we'll get the error so now it will make put request to this URL and what is the ID it's one okay so 
let's go ahead and try that out start and let's when I refresh the screen now it should give me the value if unless okay so it has updated completed is false ID is 6 because that was created okay something failed let's check what failed 404 not found okay so I think let's check the URL so for put it is post slash ID okay so I'm going to pass the ID here instead of there and let's see again this is because it's a public API that we are using so we need to be extremely careful of uh, um, and we have to basically depend but it's a free one so if you see now it reloaded with with ID 1 it has got the updated body and updated title okay we can again parameterize this if you wanted a dynamic one you can just do ID and pass ID val like this and now I can even make it work with 6 right so whatever value you get it will be completed okay because here we are capturing id val request query id and post slash 6 and response dot send okay so we can see here now okay so it came the updated body is still one because we did not reload that okay all right so now if you see here id is 5 and our updated title now same way if i want to pass something else it will update that particular id okay we are passing the dynamic id here and we are passing the body content for put okay so that is get post and put okay now the if you see mostly the axios syntax it remains same here you'll just tell the URL that you want to delete okay now same thing let's check the delete option so delete post slash one so post slash one would just delete the resource and we'll send the response back and say that it's deleted I'm going to say here data successfully I'm going to comment this line okay so see here data deleted successfully because it went inside axios dot delete it called the URL then this this and dot catch if any errors okay so basically the syntax if you see is same axios dot put the put the method name okay okay this looks like I'll just remove this data it's a little confusing okay so here the syntax is similar axios dot method name okay it can be a get post put or delete okay and then followed by URL is mandatory right URL is mandatory followed by parameters if any inside this the only errors you will make the common mistakes that you will make is by not sending these in object okay sometimes you'll directly write here 10 or something like that but for with params it has to be inside an object okay and that's about it anything that you send should be in a object okay all right um, that's all axios has to offer basically with respect to HTTP post example we saw and put example we saw right and we did get and delete okay I'll continue the series um, and in the next episode we will learn about interceptors we will learn about error handling we will learn how to do concurrent request multiple op methods at the same time and that will conclude uh, the, this particular series um, I hope you are learning about Axios this is a complete tutorial series don't forget to ask me your doubts in the, in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode